Was that him floating above the fountain, the boss man? The one who put these bow ties on our necks? Sure does like to make a presentation. We should keep it down or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates. Vera hologram or no. Supposed to be the grand opening of the Sierra Madre. Lots of lights, music, the works. And he's going to use the gala event to open the casino? But that's interesting. Oh, it'll light up the casino, light up the sky, set the speakers in the villa to play beautiful, soothing music. And when I say soothing music, I mean with the speakers being the state they are, things will be screaming all right. Think air raid sirens. That means it'll wake up everything in town like a hornet's nest. Not sure what a hornet is? Forget it. Basically trouble. No, looks like a rooftop in Puesta del Sol. In better days, nice view. Now, it's the last place anyone wants to stand when this event goes off. That place during spring, summer and fall, a little bit in winter, is a prime resort spot for ghost people. Not the best of neighborhoods. If we're going there, I'm not going alone. And if you have any bright ideas about telling me to stroll over there, or leave me there, no thanks. Partner, I'm not sure this guy's operating with a full deck. My bet? Process of elimination, lowest common denominator. He figures the strong man's needed somewhere, even if it sounds like the strong man's two minds about it. Plus, I'm guessing wherever old doggy boys need it doesn't need smarts. I hope not. Or we're royally jonesed. Christine, that her name? Nice name. I mean, you can't see it on posters, but never mind. I don't know. She might need to hold some place where speaking isn't important. Like stage tech? Lighting? Got me. And me? I've had prime billing in Europe, New York, and this gig doesn't feel like that. Don't get me wrong, I can hold an audience, conduct a score from the rooftops, but I'm guessing I'm the odd man out in this whole heist. Of course you do. Let's hear him. Tourists, you bet. They don't stay long, and they don't stay alive long. If they survive the cloud, the ghost people, the traps, then greed takes over, and they start sizing each other up for funeral suits. Sure. First they figure they can get out, escape, then they start thinking it over, start thinking about how they can have it all. They start weighing the odds, taking risks, and then taking each other out. Bum collars or not. Although, it's odd. The bum collars weren't linked before like they are now. Yes, someone learned what the problem was. Dead. Either got killed by one of the villa's attractions, locals, or the beautiful weather. Can tell you right now, they didn't stick close to each other, and when they did, they let down their guard at the wrong moment. Some left signposts to others trying to help them out. Just led to them getting killed by someone a little more greedy than they were. Well, considering my life's on the line too, yeah. A few things. First off, keep everyone together. Keep checking behind you. Make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. 
Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. And speaking of slow, don't go shouting or attracting attention. Go quiet. The ghost people find you, it's over. Alive's a tricky word. The locals, the ghost people, not sure it applies to them. They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much, as in at all. Tried talking to them, bribing them, leaving food, nothing. In the years since, they haven't changed their approach, but I sure have. They catch you, they drag you into the cloud, and you're not coming back out. After that, having your necktie go off would be mercy. My advice? Stay out of their way. They don't die easy. You shoot them, they get back up. You stab them, they get back up. That's why I have explosives all over this place. Unless you blow them up, chop them up, disintegrate them, the ghost people don't go down. Not enough bullets in the town to spend on them. So unless you're a real good shot, save one for yourself right before they catch you. Friend, there's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait, no. If there is more between heaven and earth, oh, forget it. I'd sooner ask what makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they crawl to life here. I'm counting myself lucky I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. Always had the Sierra Madre to keep my mind occupied. Most folks, they don't have the same drive, the same need. Not worth my time. Pretty much ghost people before the bomb, now ghost people after. Whatever we do, don't rile them up. Normally there's only a few, maybe a pack. There's more out there, a lot more. If they find out someone's trespassing, it'd be shaking a hornet's nest. Don't want to think how many of them could fill these streets. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it. Why? Survival. I still needed to leave the residential area to scrounge up supplies, and I don't like taking chances. The villa's dangerous. So I left weapons and stims in case I got in a tight spot. And of course you show up putting your mitts on everything. I suppose this qualifies as an emergency, so I'm not complaining. Much. I still need to eat. At least I think I do. The villa provides. Even if it's not as glamorous as the Cantina Madrid. Once I, well, realized what you could scrounge up around here, I had a lot of time to experiment. Not the best chef, but... Well, here's the mix, if you can stomach it. I call it a Sierra Madre Martini. Scrape some cloud residue off the walls, mash it in a tin can with some junk food from the machines, and hold your nose and down it. There's electric hot plates around if you can't find a campfire to mix it at. Also, there's other recipes you can do with the cloud residue, although it might take a hardier survivalist than me to brew them. I stick to martinis. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it. Yeah, don't you? Or, guess where the keys got lost along with the rest of the hollow archives when the bomb hit, huh? Ghost in name and image. Still a looker, though. Got to hand it to Sinclair. Sure can pick him. Well, or get picked.
whichever. Vera was a big star back before the bomb. Not the best actress, but, well, she had other talents. Nice voice, nice legs. For some reason, Sinclair, he built this place. She caught his eye. Once he was hooked, that was it. Had to have her. So made the introductions and guess what? He builds this place for her like some kind of Cleopatra obsession. Wasn't always a death trap. Of course! What? Some kind of surprise to you that I knew people once? Used to have my name in lights, all right? Knew a dozen Veras or whatever her name was. Uh, Villa Keys. Figured I could pay Sinclair back. Introduce the two. Guy was a slouch in the dame department. Had to pick up the slack somehow. Yeah, don't you? Or guess Villa Keys got lost along with the rest of the hollow archives when the bomb hit, huh? Ghost in name and image. Still a looker, though. Got to hand it to Sinclair. Sure can pick him. Well, or get picked. Whichever. Vera was a big star back before the bomb. Not the best actress, but, well, she had other talents. Nice voice, nice legs. For some reason, Sinclair, he built this place. She caught his eye. Once he was hooked, that was it. Had to have her. So made the introductions and guess what? He builds this place for her like some kind of Cleopatra obsession. Wasn't always a death trap. Of course! What? Some kind of surprise to you that I knew people once? Used to have my name in lights, all right? Knew a dozen Veras or whatever her name was. Uh, Villa Keys. Figured I could pay Sinclair back. Introduce the two. Guy was a slouch in the dame department. Had to pick up the slack somehow. Those little company stores. Sinclair's toy boxes. Put in the casino chip. Get a treat. Like you're some dog doing tricks. Take any of the casino chips, put them into the machine, and you'll get something out. A snack, a cola, something to mend a tear in your shirt. Sometimes you have to know exactly what to ask for. Other times there's codes for, uh, unconventional items. For emergencies. Yeah, well, machines like those weren't unusual before the bomb. Maybe to you they're amazing. To me, they're grifters without the personality. Sinclair made sure if you spent money here, it went one direction. Although that's not how he described it. Called it self-sufficient. Like he was doing the residents a favor. Right. If it's an emergency, you can get chems for any, uh, condition. Sinclair left that for doctors and trained professionals, not the common folk. Even security and maintenance could get special supplies out of them. Staff had codes on little cards they could use to unlock them. Around. Don't have much use for them myself. Not worth the risk to get them. I got all the basics covered as long as I have the chips to pay for them. I don't need much. Of course you do. Let's hear them. The cloud showed up after the bomb. I think. I got used to it in small doses. Now it covers the city. Over the years, it kept climbing up out of the Sierra Madre until it was curtains for the sun. Didn't see the sky again. Doesn't seem to bother the ghost people. Can't see through it too well, though. So sometimes I can use the cloud for cover. If I get desperate. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it.
Residential area clinic police station. Should keep away from the police station. It's a ghost people hang out. Salida del Sol, Puesta del Sol are East Town, West Town. Sunrise and sunset. Or were when the streets and sky weren't covered with toxic gas. Ghost people don't come into the villa much. West Town and East Town, though, they're thick with the cloud and ghost people. Like hunting ground. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it. Not one for fighting, if we can avoid it. Still wasn't bad at the pistol range, and over the years I've learned how to handle a knife. And explosives a bit. A bit. Made a lot of mistakes along the way. Still have my fingers, though. I'd shed a tear, but I'm sure we'll be chatting again.